of the best Pass me the mic and turn me up Man, I'm blow Any moment now I'm about to self-destruct Man, I'm just a normal dude We're far from normal dreams Doing donuts in the whip I ain't talking Krispy Kreme Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can create a 1.6.1 Minecraft bucket server. So, come to this link in the description below. And, as you can see, the only version for 1.6 is the development build. But in the future, if you watch this video, then there will be a recommended build for 1.6.1. So right now we're just going to click on the development build. Hey, keep and while it's downloading we're gonna go to our desktop or wherever you want your minecraft server folder to be we're gonna right click click new click folder and we're gonna name this whatever you want I'm just gonna name it server folder this is where it's gonna contain all the server things that we put in it alright so just wait for that to download and once it's done drag it into your minecraft server folder so once it's done downloading like I said, go ahead and drag it to your Minecraft server folder. If you open it up, you can see that there is a Java icon. If you don't see a Java icon, then you're going to have to come to this link in the description below to download Java. This is really important. Without Java, then you won't be able to run a Minecraft server. So just hit accept and choose the one based on your system. Install it. And then you should see an icon next to it once your Java is installed. So now we're going to create a batch file that's going to run our server. So go ahead and open up Notepad, a new document, and paste in the code that I have in the description. If this first one doesn't work, then just try the rest, and one of them should be working for you. But this one should be the first one to try, and it should work. So once you have pasted it, go ahead and click File, Save As, name it something like run or start and then dot bat make sure that you put dot bat at the end and then save as type make sure you have it as all files then go to desktop and put it in that server folder that you created click save close out of that and now open your server folder Okay, so we still have to rename Craft Bucket. This is really important too. Make sure you name it just Craft Bucket. Nothing else. Just Craft Bucket like that. And then there you go. So now double click on Run. As you see, it's generating all the files it needs. You may see something like Fail to Load Operators, but that is okay. As long as you see it running and preparing the spawner area, then you're all good. If you have a couple errors, like the errors that are on the screen, you can click to watch those. I, uh, I show you how to fix those problems. But if not, just keep watching the video because you're almost done. Okay, so now that it's done, to close out of any server uh, batch files that you run, you always want to type stop and then just hit enter. Because if you just close out of it, then it won't save what you have ran before. Then once it says press any key to continue, just exit out of that. Okay, now that we're almost done, one of the last things to do is to port forward. You're going to want to port forward to the port 25565. And then have that as TCP slash UDP. And if you're unfamiliar how to port forward with your router, then come to this link in the description. Choose your router type or your router brand name. And then there will be a port forwarding guide on how to port forward with your router. So now we're going to change any settings that you want. If you go to server properties, right click, and then edit with notepad or notepad++. I have notepad++, so it's going to look a little bit different. But overall, you should have the same settings. And what you want to make sure to do is have 25565. Um... And if you want cracked players allowed on your server, you can change that to false. Because true is for uh, only premium members allowed on your server. But if you want non-premium members, you can change that to false. You can mess around with any other settings you want. Okay, we're going to close and save. So now we're pretty much good to go. And we can go ahead and run our server up. It should run a little bit faster than the first time we ran it. 
There we go, it's done. So now we're going to give the IP to our friends. Go to ipchicken.com, and that IP address that it shows up is the IP that you're going to give your friends to connect. That is the IP to use. So hopefully you found a way to port forward. There are tons of videos of how to port forward. And with this video that I made here, it should have helped. And you should have a Minecraft server. My next video is going to be how to install plugins, so you should check that out. And subscribe for more videos like this. Alright, see you guys.